Thank you very much. And after a tour of Wales, we're better to finish and with me here at the Oxford Bay Hotel. We're going to look at some locally produced vegetables and meats and delicacies. We're going to put together a Tishan Fiskut, which is Welsh for fish cake. And we're going to be using fresh salmon, beautiful plump pencloth cockles, local locally grown uh, potatoes and onions, and this beautiful lava bread, para laur. This is a puree of a locally produced seaweed. It's very special, it's very famous, and we're very, very got it jealously. Um, we're going to be using that in our fish cakes today. Also, the uh, beautiful leeks, top the whole thing off with a lovely saffron sauce, finished with plump cockles, a little bit of garlic and some seasoning, and uh, let's get on with the show. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, I have a pan getting warm on the side here, ready for the fish cakes. Now, these are the potatoes already mashed up. Put them into lightly seasoned, put them in a mixing bowl here. Then add my leeks. These are leeks are oh, just blanched, not overcooked, and I've chosen to use mainly the white ends, you know, because the, the dark green ends can get a little bit too on the tough side. So put them together, mix them in nicely. And the idea, you see, is to bring all the ingredients together, bring in the salmon in last, because later on, when you, cook, when you cut into the fish cake, you want to see chunks, flakes of salmon. The last thing you want is it sort of little tiny greens. So lovely chunky salmon fish cakes we hope they're going to end up with. So, so far we've got the potatoes mashed in there, in with the leeks and onions. Here goes the lava bread. Now traditionally we'll cook the lava bread with smoked bacon uh, and with the cockles as well, and it's gorgeous. I tend to favour, personally, I use it as a seasoning, I use it with stuffing, soups and sauces, and especially with applications like this. Now as I say, it's a special seaweed, produced locally, from secret coves these days actually, it's not that plentiful. And then cooked for hours and hours, washed for hours and hours, and carefully blended to make what is a very, very famous delicacy. So, so far, a quick recap, the potatoes, the leeks, the lava bread. The seasoning is okay there, because I seasoned them earlier on. Little ground black pepper. Plenty of, look of ground black pepper in there. And then we can look at the salmon itself. Now this is the poached salmon, simply poached, a little bit of onion, a little bit of salt in there. And what I'm going to do is to gently flake them in. Now you can see now, if I'd added in earlier, it would be mashed to a pulp now and almost disappear. So flake it in nicely. And then just carefully, almost fold it in as if you're making a meringue or a sponge cake. Just using your fingers, lift them out, lift a about three, four ounce portion out, roll it into a ball, and already the flakes of the salmon are clearly visible, which is just what I wanted. Dust them in flour now, so into a flour bin to start off with. I think I'll just do two for now. We'll do a few more for the guys later. Roll them into a rough ball into the flour bin. Get rid of that for now. Okay. Now then, we're going to serve these on a panache of vegetables. We're going to use gorgettes, we can use carrots, munch too, and red onions. So once more, get into the back of the stove there. We'll look at those shortly. About two minutes from now, we'll turn them over. They'll be nice and golden brown. Now we need some serious heat. Because we're going to serve them on a bed of vegetables, nice and crisp vegetables. As I said, these carrots now are just blanched. They're just blanched. Everything else is raw. Got my seasoning ready to go. They season them a little bit now, actually, as they go. Okay. And here we go. Let's pop the vegetables in. All right. Now these are good. We're going to cook. We're going to soften gently. We're going to soften gently. We're going to serve the fish cakes on the bed of these vegetables. So, you'll have a lovely contrast in the flavours. Don't forget, the fish cake is going to be a smooth, soft textured dish. Sitting on top of a nice crisp bed of vegetables will be just right. Let's turn these fish cakes over now. That's looking very nice indeed. Now for the very, very interesting part. Now, I have a little fish stock here. Now, this is the cooking liquor from poaching the salmon earlier on. Into a pan, only a little bit of it now. A little bit of fish flavour there. We've got a dash of vermouth. Got a little soup of cream just around there now. And then we're going to add these lovely pencloud cockles. Now pencloud cockles are a little bit larger and a little bit sweeter than other cockles. And uh, you can see the better size of these. These are, these are good sized cockles. Straight into the pan. Okay. And then finally for the sauce, a little bit of saffron. This is just ordinary ground saffron. It's there mainly to give it a, a sauce, a nice warm glow. 
rather than getting any serious flavor out of it. Spoon the vegetables to one side of each fish cake so they form a nice resting place for them, a nice bed for them. And in the meantime, the sauce is reducing slightly. All I want to do there is put a little bit of lemon juice. So we put the sauce just around the sides so the cockles can be seen. Just around the sides there. Wipe the plate a bit. And then to finish it off, talking about textures again, you see. Lastly are these. These are deep fried, crispy fried leeks. To many people, a symbol of Wales. Just finish the whole thing with those. Again, you've got a plate full of textures, a plate full of flavours. In fact, you've probably got modern Wales on a plate.